What's up guys, Tao here. Ever since the iPad OS 15 came out, um, the supported file format has increased. In fact, I did a video before uh, just to test the different file formats supported by the older iPad OS. Um, one of the file system, which is NTFS, uh, with native Windows file system, it wasn't supported. But with the new iPad OS 15, now NTFS format is supported now. So today we're gonna do a quick test and maybe just file transfer and see how well um, the file format is supported by the new iPad OS 15. If you are curious about it, stay with me. All right, the devices I'll be using uh, is the iPad Pro, uh, the M1 Pro, and also for the hard drives, I'll be having two, um, one terabyte SSD. So one is formatted with NTFS. The other one is formatted with the XFAT. So XFAT is supported by the Windows and Mac. So you can read and write on both system. The NTFS traditionally can only read on the Mac. You cannot write onto it without the third party software support. So I do expect the same on the iPad OS 15. So yeah, let's just see it. The adapter I'm using is the Anker 71 USB-C hub. Uh, it's uh, really reliable. I've been using for quite a long time, never had an issue. So I'm really happy with it. So let's get into it. All right, now I have everything connected. Uh, adapter connect to the iPad, to uh, external hard drives, SSDs, connect to uh, both USB ports. Uh, now let's open files. Now this is where you will need to access both or actually any external device you connect to it. So as you can see here on the left column, there's a two um, external hard drives. One is NTFS, the other one is XFAT. So in fact, I just named them so it's easier for me to remember them. So NTFS, so let's try that one. So there is a, a video recording, what is actually is the game recording. Um, so let's just play it and uh, make sure you can read. So as you can see, it actually can read the files on the drive. So that's expected, just like the Mac OS. And now this XFAT, now XFAT is actually another video as well. So it should play, so as expected. So as you can see, the iPad OS can read uh, XFAT and NTFS without any issues at all, just like the Mac OS. Uh, now, if you notice on the NTFS drive, at the bottom here, it says read only. So, which means the iPad OS will not be able to write anything onto the um, drive. So, for example, if I open another file, so let's see. So now we've got two files here. Uh, on the left is the NTFS drive. I'm gonna open a XFAT drive. So on the XFAT drive here, it does not say read only at all, which means the, the system can read and write XFAT drives. So for example, if I copy uh, the game recording from NTFS drive onto the XFAT and uh, there we go, it just start transferring. Now the file is just under 5 gig, 4.68 gig. So it take uh, around about 10 seconds maybe. Uh, let's just see how long it can take. Yeah, about 10 seconds. So it's pretty, pretty good, 15 seconds. I didn't really time it, but it's pretty quick. So we can see there a transfer onto the XFAT drive, playing as normal. And now, if we transfer the video from XFAT drive to the NTFS drive, and you notice, see what's happened. So you can see it says a, you know, it's a stop sign, which is, you can't do it, because um, the iPad OS 15 will not be able to write anything onto the NTFS drive. So this actually um, in line with the Mac OS, it wasn't supported in any way um, before the iPad OS 15 or iOS 15. So now it's really good to see iPad OS is one step further and open up the, the possibility if you do wanna connect NTFS or Windows hard drive onto the iPad OS.
All right, that was a very quick test. Hopefully it was useful. You may ask, why would you connect a NTFS drive onto the iPad? What's the point of it? Well, think about it. If you only have a iPad, you don't have a Windows computer, you don't have a Mac computer. So if you want to transfer all the files from the old drive onto a iPad or onto another device. So this is very good news for um, user don't own a computer at all. Now, and also I think this is one step forward for the Mac, um, for the Mac, for the iPadOS is more in line with their Mac OS. So it's really good news, at least in my opinion. Now, one thing I wish Apple is going to add in the future iPadOS is some sort of a utility app or disk utility app for you to manage different drives. So meaning maybe you want to format, you can format the drive and you can clone the drive, um, maybe similar to the utility app on the Mac OS. So yeah, I'm going to put that on my wish list. So please Apple, if you, you know, if it's possible, that'd be fantastic. All right, guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully you guys learned something and maybe you didn't know about. If you have different experience or if you want to ask any questions, leave the comment down below and um, hopefully we can all answer or learn something from you. So see you guys in the next video.